Welcome to the channel Data Science Demonstrated. In this video, you will see on how to analyze YouTube channel with Data Science. This can help you improve your channel performance as well as increase your subscriber base. Now, if you are a YouTuber like me, you must be already familiar with YouTube analytics. So it gives some good analysis, you can do much, much more. So in this video, I'll show you on how to use data science to answer questions such as, is there any correlation between time and number of views? Are there any videos which I should promote to get more subscribers? How to analyze all the YouTube channel performance with a single visualization? If you do not have a YouTube channel, do not worry, consider this as a mini course in data science where we'll go through various data science techniques such as correlation analysis, multidimensional analysis and outlier detection. All the analysis which I'll show you in the video are based on my YouTube channel. However, if you want to analyze your YouTube channel, you can do it very easily with my website experiencedatascience.com. It is a no code platform to learn data science. More on this in the later part of the video. So friends, let's get started, but do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. One of the first analysis which you can do is to make an histogram on views. Analysis of my channel indicates that most of the videos have about zero to 2000 views. You can also hover over the histogram to find out the related videos. There are some videos which have got very high views and these are top 5 customer analytic techniques, top 5 data exploration techniques, dynamic pricing using machine learning. Now let us call them as blockbusters videos as we are going to use this terminology later in the analysis. Now views could be high if it is an old video and recent videos can have less views. So it is useful to analyze views by time duration since the video was released. So in this visualization you see you have the days since the video was published on the X axis and the number of views on the Y axis. The three videos which have got very high views are the blockbuster videos. And there are other videos which were released more or less at the same time, but they do not have very high views. So you may tend to think that number of views do not increase with time. However, that is not the right conclusion because the three blockbuster videos are in fact outliers which are disturbing our analysis. So here is the analysis, but without the blockbuster videos and we can attempt to draw a trend line between the number of days and views. And we observe that the trend line is in an upward direction, which confirms that number of views generally tend to increase with time. So this also kind of assures me that investing in YouTube makes sense. All right, let's now apply the same analysis for views and subscribers. Now this analysis shows the video views and the subscribers which subscribe to the channel after watching the video. And we also see that there is a generally an uptrend indicating that more number of views, you get more number of subscribers. Now here you see a video with less views, but it has got good subscribers. Now this video is on time series analysis. So it is a video which has got a good potential to get more subscribers. So it would be useful to push it on social media or make it more known and this can help get more subscribers. So till now we have been analyzing two dimensions at a time. However, our data has got much more dimensions. So let us now up our game using something called parallel coordinate visualization. It is a way to do multi-dimensional analysis. So in this visual, you see all the columns which are there in the data and the values are organized from high to low values. I can select any line and see what it corresponds to. Let me select the line which has got these high values and you can see that this corresponds to the blockbuster videos. I can also see some other interesting things. For example, I see a video with a very high impression click through rate. And this doesn't seem to be the blockbuster videos. So let us select this 
And we see that the line here corresponds to the video title as Understanding Outliers. Now let me show you the thumbnail of the video which I have used. You will observe that I have put some descriptive titles in the thumbnail such as Climb High in Machine Learning Competition called Kaggle with Minimal Effort. So it seems that if the title of the video has some attractiveness, it will lead to high click-through rates. So my friends, I hope you are enjoying the video. If yes, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And please also comment on how would you analyze your YouTube channel data. So let me now show you on how you can do all this analytics with zero coding using my website experiencedatascience.com. I will show you some screen navigation with some nice music. So enjoy it and try it out on your data.